Alright, hi ho Just swapped out the PP-8 for another Gyre 1K from Ice Cap. Got both of them on opposite ends working in a random flow pattern. Got a lot of junk floating around there, don't mind that. The Gyre seems to be picking some more stuff up. Plus I just gave the rocks a little picking for some of the GHA that's still growing in there. The GHA has come down considerably. Um, it's a lot shorter, a lot lower. And we're starting to see a few more spots of purple come in and around. So hopefully uh, we're getting closer on the nutrient battle. Got to check what my uh, nutrients are at. As far as the nitrates and that, I haven't checked them in a while. Just been letting the reactor run wild to do what it's got to do. Uh, the weeds are doing great. The GSP. Ah, what are you talking about weeds? Jim, they're not that kind of weed. They're just GSP. Green Star Paul says so big green lumps. Ah. Okie dokie. So anyway, this is the tank, what it's flowing like with the random. I'm going to have to play around with the numbers. Uh, see what Jim thinks. Maybe he wants to kick him up a little higher, really move some stuff around. Ah, uh, you know, I'd like to be higher all the time. Okay, Jim, good talk, good talk. Um, we'll take that into consideration, see what we can do. But everything is looking pretty good. The light's being lowered down has made a pretty nice difference to the look of the tank. Uh, it's a, a lot more brighter. The shimmer seems better. It's probably lowered the lights a good six or seven inches from what they were. But it's going to be kind of a pain to get in and out because there's not much clearance there for my big fat hand to get in. But fortunately it does slide backwards on the tank a little bit to give me a little more room to get in there. And yes, Rich, I will get in there and clean that stuff off the front of the glass. I know it drives you nuts. Talk to you later. Keep it salty. Keep on reefing. Later.